This feature allows users to define a cut plane based on a small region of selected points. Flexcan 3D will then automatically delete any data that is below the cut plane on all subsequent scans. And first, we have to do a scan. As you can see from the scan, the table is actually captured along with the object, and this is what we don't want. So right now, I'm going to select some points of the table, like that, and click on the Set Cut Plane button. So here, a plane has been created. So any subsequent scans that we do, anything that is below the plane will get deleted automatically. Also, we have a plane offset feature that we can offset to something else. So here is 10 millimeter or 20 millimeter. So now move it back to 2 millimeter. So here I'll show you a scan. As you can see, anything below the plane is missing. That means it's been deleted automatically. If you actually want to have those data back, you can go to the Mesh Editor, check the Ignore Preset Coupling button, and click on Build. So here, everything is back. And under the Scan tab, you can also see this little icon there. It's actually telling you that a plane has been set. So if you don't want it anymore, you can go back into the Scanning Volume tab and click on Remove Cut Plane and click on OK. Just a quick note that if you are using a multi-scanner setup, you should perform the preset alignment first before creating the cut plane. Thanks for watching.